this class we are going to learn how to develop a solution in integration which can retry the faults out of the box in oracle integration there is no feature which can retry in case if there is any fault when we invoke any connection suppose i am trying to call this sharepoint api with the help of rest connection and api is down due to some reason in that case i want the integration to retry this connection couple of times before terminating that instance now how we can do that we are going to look in this integration i have already created the integration that is retry fault in let me open this integration in edit mode and walk you through the code this is how the skeleton of integration looks like if you want to incorporate retrying logic in your integration i will explain action by action so first of all we need to have a placeholder which will tell integration the count of retry which it has to do before terminating the instance that i have created in the integration properties you can have this created in the lookup as well basically it is the count i want at least three times any api to be retried in case if it is faulted or errored out this we can change at runtime we had seen how we can update integration property values at runtime in production environment without touching the code if you are not comfortable working with integration property you can create a lookup and there you can write the value like how many times you want to retry let me close this, this is the first condition we have to notify integration what is the final count for which it has to retry i have created the rest integration here with the and i have exposed our rest protocol with the help of rest connection i will show you how the request and response looks like click on edit but you can make use of similar logic in your scheduled integration as well it will apply to both integration as well as scheduled integration so this is of type http method post in json request i am sending whether i want to retry the fault or not this integration will cater to both the scenarios like whenever i provide the input as y this integration will retry up to three times before terminating the instance if i set it as n then this integration won't retry so if your requirement is to conditionally retry the faults then you can do this with the help of this approach i am catering to both the requirements in the same integration coming to the response in response I am sending back count of retry for how many times this integration has retried in case of failure. So like this. In the output we will know what is the total count. So that's it with this trigger connection. I am closing this connection. Click on cancel. Next is the declare variable. Let me show you what I have done over here. I have created a local variable over here with the name v retry count and I have set it to zero. In integration property we had set what is the maximum count up to which integration has to retry that we had set to 3 this is the local variable which i have set to 0 next comes the while loop let me show you how the while loop condition i have written there are two parts in this condition one when the retry is set as n i don't want the retry to happen at that time i'm just checking whether the retry value is n and the retry local variable this is the local variable it is set to zero which we done already in the first action or second case if i want this integration to retry in case of fault and retry count this is the local variable it should be less than integration property which we had set to three so this local variable it will increment as and when integration retries the connection or the api call it could be api call it could be database call it could be anything which integration wants to retry i will show you how this local variable count increases in the while loop let me close this so within the while loop we need to add the scope without scope we cannot build retry logic so what is there in the fault handle i will show you later so in the switch condition i am just checking whether our input is retry is equal to y as you can see over there in request in the post request for this integration i am sending retry is equal to y or n in case of y i am throwing the fault in case of otherwise it will go normal path so this i have added switch condition because i want to demonstrate the use case where you want to conditionally retry in your case you might not have this case you want to retry for predefined number of time then your throw will come outside over here you won't want switch 
Now here in the throw, I'm just throwing some dummy error details. In case I don't want to throw the error, in condition while loop, we had we were checking whether the retry is n and retry count is zero. Now this will end into indefinite loop as if we don't update that retry count. In case of n, I am updating here retry count that is local variable to minus one. So that in the next while loop iteration, it has to come out of the loop, else it will indefinitely run. So in case I don't want to retry, I'm setting that retry count local variable to minus one. In case I want to retry, once it throws the fault over here, it will go to default fault handler. So in default fault handler, I'm incrementing the count of local variable that is retry count like this retry count plus one. That's it. After this, you can have other actions as well. I'm just logging the details to the audit stream. That is with the help of log action. You can have any other action as well, like logging into database, into file, notifying or email, those things will come. And in the response, I'm just sending the count of retry the integration has done. In case of no retry, if you want, then this will be minus one. If it has retried, then it will show how many times it has retried. Now, let me test this integration. Go to test. Let me switch over to body here. First, we'll test for retry, clicking on test. This while loop has to run at least three times before exiting integration. As you can see in the response, we are getting fault retry count is three. So it has retried for three times. Here also it is showing while retry loop iteration three. Let me expand. So it has entered into the while loop. It has seen this throw fault. It went to the catch all. It has logged count one. Again, it came to the second iteration of the loop. Again, it went to catch all, updated the log, retry count two, and the third time retry count three. So like this, it has iterated three times. Then it has found that the retry count should be less than the integration property what we had set to so three. Then it has come out of the loop. Also, if you want to terminate after, suppose after first iteration or second iteration, this integration founds out that the API is up, you will get the response. Then you can update that retry count variable with minus one so that retry count value with minus one or integration property plus one so that the while loop has to terminate so that it doesn't call that API once again. So you have to modify your while loop accordingly as per your business requirement. So the best solution is after retry count two, if you found that API is up or database is up, then update, put the assign action and update like retry count minus one or integration property value plus one like three plus one is four and the while condition will be not satisfied for that case now let me test for n like what we did for in case of n that you can implement over here as well click on test if you scroll down here we are getting fault retry minus one so if you see only one iteration it has done so like this we can build retry logic in integration as there is no out of the box solution for retrying the faults in integration Here is the big announcement for our subscribers and viewers. We are launching membership program for Binum Learning. You may now join Binum Learning as a member and get exclusive perks or the rewards. In order to know more or join and be a member, you need to go to our channel. After landing into our channel page, you need to click on this join. When you click on join, you will get various membership plans. Accordingly, you can select and unlock the perks or the rewards which are available for that particular membership. For more details, you can anytime come over to our page and click on this join button. Similar steps you can follow over the phone as well. You can go to our channel, there you will find the join button. You need to click and check the memberships and select one among the many and become a member of Binam Learning channel. It includes various perks like exclusive videos only for members, early access of videos to members and lot of other perks available. If you are happy with our content and want to thank us or support us, you can straight away come to this link and you can buy us a coffee like one, three, five. So these numbers are equivalent to US dollars. If you want to buy more coffees, you can just enter the number over here and click on buy. We would like to thank all our subscribers, viewers and members for showing your support and constantly helping us by giving your valuable feedback so that we bring good content to you regularly. Thank you once again and happy learning.